Hi brownies! Meerkat here with this week's video challenge. So this week we are going to make an owl out of a toilet roll tube. So you're going to need your toilet roll tube, some glue, um, a pencil, ruler, scissors. You're also going to need either some coloured paper or if you don't have that you can use um, colouring pens or pencils to colour it in. Then to make the feathers on our owl, you're going to need something that's maybe a little bit colourful. I don't really have any more coloured paper, so I'm going to use um, a takeaway menu that's come through the door. Um, you're welcome to use a magazine or newspaper or whatever, whatever it is you have that you can use. So, step one. Take your toilet roll tube and your piece of coloured paper and you're going to measure it to see how long the toilet roll tube is. Make a little mark here, and then you're going to use your ruler to draw a line from that mark. If you don't have coloured paper, then you're going to colour in your toilet roll tube, any colour you want. So now you have your line, you're going to cut along that. And then you're going to use your glue to glue the piece of paper we just cut. If you don't have glue, then you can use tape for this. That would work as well. Probably put something down on the table before you start so that we don't get glue all over your house. And there you go. Make sure you have to get enough glue on so it's going to stay nice and firm to the toilet roll tube this is going to be the base that we make everything else on. There we go, that's nicely glued up. Get your toilet roll, I'm going to pop it on one end and then we're going to try and keep it straight. So we roll it along. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. So that is one coloured toilet roll tube. Um, so next up, we're going to add some feathers to it. So this is the time when you take your menu or your magazine and we're going to cut them. So the shape you want is kind of a... Can you see that? Sort of a that shape. Not that big. Um, you can make them however big you like, really. you just got to remember that they're going on the toilet roll tube. Um, you can draw it on first and then cut round, or if you're feeling confident, you can just cut cut it. So you just... And then you have a wing. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me cut them all out. I've already cut them. For mine, I used about 20 feathers, so that's how many you need to cut. And then, once you've got your pile of feathers, we're going to glue them onto the toilet roll tube. So, here's one I made earlier. And the way to do it is really easy. So, you just get a little bit of glue on your brush. Ooh, less than that. And then, you're just going to glue in a straight line. So, you're just going to go straight along there, like that. Obviously start at the bottom and work your way up. I've just already done these, so this video isn't two hours long. And then you take a feather and you, you can see that. And what you do is you just fold the top over a little bit. And then you fold that top over and then open it back out. And then we're gonna glue the little bit at the top that you've just folded so that the rest of the feather is free to move about and fly. And then, let's see if it can focus, just going to stick it on, and then you have one. I've done four rows up, and I've done them five, five feathers across, but it's totally up to you how um, many, many feathers you want. If you want a particularly feathery owl, then you can have. So you're just going to keep sticking those, and just fold over the top, give it a good press open it back up and then stick the top point to 
your owl. I think it looks quite nice if you overlap them a little bit. So when you do your rows, start the next one kind of just over the top of the one before. Can you see? I'm going to do four on the top one. That looks quite nice. So there we go. So now my owl has his feathery chest. So now the bit that I'm going to try and do now is the bit I'm a bit nervous about because I'm not sure how it's going to go. We're going to turn this top bit into owl ears. So what we need to do is we need to press it together like this. You can see I'm pressing it so that it turns into a bit, bit of a triangle. Make sure you press it nice and firm and try and make sure you press it so that this is in the middle of the front. And then you're going to push the tops down. So you start on one side, push, push it down. And then you're going to take the other side, push that down as well. So that it looks like this. And then you just grab the ears and give them a good squidge in place. And that gives you your owl ears. So there we go. You can kind of see the shape of him taking shape now. Next up, he needs some eyes. So I've just got some plain white paper to make the eyes. I'm just going to cut out two oval shapes. If you have any goggly eyes in your house, you can use them. Or you can use coloured paper. Or you can draw them straight on. Might be nice. You can make a couple and try different things. Make a whole army of owls. There we go, cut out one goggly eye. There we go, so we have two little circles and then I'm just going to draw on the pupil with my pencil. Obviously pause this video whenever you like and take as long as you want doing them. There's no rush. And then we're just gonna put a dab of glue on the back like this. And then stick the eye onto the owl. There we go. And same again on the other side. So you've got some little eyes. And now if you have kind of a yellow or an orange paper, that would work. If you don't, any colour will do. I'm going to use this pizza-y bit on this menu to make a beak. So you're just going to cut a triangle shape so it looks like a beak. So here I have my pizza beak. I think I might have made that a little bit too big. just going to have a big beak. Again, bit of glue on the back. You can stick this one all over, you don't just need to do the top because it's not like the feathers. And then stick in the beak. There we go. And then again you can use your takeaways or your magazine or if you have any other coloured paper that might be quite nice. And we're going to do two wings for him. So they're going to be similar shape to the um, feathers but bigger because they're going to be his wings. So I'm just going to draw them on mine. It's not too big. And then cut them out or ask an adult to cut them out if that if you're more comfortable doing that. There we go, so you can see that shape. Then I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to fold down the top like that. And then fold it back up. And then I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the top. Only on the top bit, because he wants to be able to flap. And then stick that to the side. Can you see that?
and then I will do the other one. Fold it down, open it back up, bit of glue on the top, there we go, and then stick that to the other side, try and make them relatively even, but it doesn't really matter. And then he's got wings, so he can fly. And there is your little owl, and we chose an owl this week because in the brownie story, it's the owl that comes along and tells the children what it means to be a brownie. So we thought it might be quite nice, while we're not at brownies, for you guys to be able to have your own little brownie owl with you and then maybe we can all bring them back when we can meet each other again so i hope you enjoyed that and hopefully i'll see you guys again soon